Howdy. It is Kevin from Kevin's Car Spots and right here behind me we have the beautiful 2015 Lexus RCF. Now, <clears throat> this is one exceptional vehicle. This is uh, Lexus's response to maybe, I would say like their M4 competitor. Now the problem is that this car did not do nearly as well as the M4. Other sources say that it went out the dealer with big discounts. But honestly, as you take a look around, I think it is a beautiful, beautiful car. Um, the only problem with this Lexus RCF, it has all the figures. It has a five liter naturally aspirated V8 pumping about 467 horsepower, 389 pound-feet of torque. I mean, those are strong numbers. Here, we're gonna show you the engine. Once again, that nice big V8 with the engine cover and the blue accents. <clears throat> Once again, we were saying, and here we have a carbon fiber-like cover, not real carbon fiber. We're saying the problem that with this car, the only reason I believe that I didn't do as well as I should have or compete as well against the M4 is because, bam, bam, because of this logo right here, it's a Lexus. And yes, Lexuses are beautiful, but they simply don't have the crazy brand name yet. In my opinion, it is a great car. As you can see right here, we're gonna start off with the side profile of the car. It has these hand cook, hand cook Ventus V12 Evo two wheels, whatever that means. Um, these wheels are quite something. They're about 20 spokes, start off as one and come out into two different spokes. Huge, huge drilled brakes. Um, these, I mean, these big rotors for the performance. I mean, they need to stop 467 horsepower. They also have those huge Lexus brake calipers. As we move on to the side, it has a beautiful uh, coupe-like profile. Right here, we can see it has functional vents. No, not functional vents. These vents, are they, wow, plastic fake vents. Uh, beautiful styling, but I don't like the fact, I mean, it's already a performance car. Might as well just cut the holes, you know? And you have your F logo coming off across the side of the car. Going back to those wheels in the back, nonetheless, come out and this car's design is pretty crazy. It has all types of lines. Just this, uh, I love how this, uh, um, the end of this bumper, they just come out, protrude so massively. As you can see, we have span to the back and it has that nice, nice quad exhaust tips calling for a beautiful engine note or exhaust note I should say right here Lexus have, has added this little piece of plastic trim just so that the tires don't protrude and it doesn't exceed uh, regulatory standards and this car has so many great angles it really does the styling of these lights is also pretty cool how in turn it makes sort of an L right here, an L shaped. I mean, this car's design, and we're gonna move over to the front and show you this crazy controversial grill that a lot of people are not too fond of, but I honestly like on this Lexus. Right there off to the side, we have air vents or air intakes whatever just as to cool down the engine and one neat thing that i saw right here it looks like these are are where are these brake ducts this little hole right here probably goes into the engine or hopefully into the brakes that would be so cool this hood scoop i would be very disappointed if it is plastic and can you see in it no it is nonetheless a real vent we're gonna take a look inside and then show you the driving right here first thing that you notice is this lexus logo you are met with the beautiful lexus logo and this door this door is made up of some pretty nice materials we see four or five different type of materials 
Okay, first you have your Alcantara right here, a nice touch, suede, whatever you want to call it. And it has the white exposed stitching. Beautiful. With the leather also. As the leather comes up with the blue exposed stitching now, it is matched by this nice piece of aluminum trim. On top of that, you have the plasticky leather type of material that cars use. Maybe just hard leather for insulation. You have nice aluminum here on your on your door handle. Uh, pretty. These look like they could, they're out of the 90s. That's funny, but hey, you know, Lexus, it's Toyota. They gotta use parts. And nonetheless, one material that I did not talk about. We talked about our Contera. We have our leather, our stitching, aluminum. This one, and we also have this carbon fiber trim. Really really completing puts together this whole door piece on top of that we have these beautiful speakers again with that with that aluminum trim around the outside the circumference of it is trimmed in aluminum as you move over to this to the driver's side you are met by this once again this reamped lexus logo it almost looks like 3d ish you have your paddle shifter up and down and what's cool is that the blue exposed stitching theme carries throughout the car right here it is white and blue as you follow it up and down the steering wheel and even in the paddle shifters it is inked in blue on the plus and minus we're gonna start it up and hear that beautiful startup you are met with the little with an animation that says Lexus RCF. As we span towards the middle console, we see that we have here. I'm really a fan of the way this uh, center console divides the the cockpit. Pretty much, it divides uh, the driver and the passenger, giving them each their own secluded little area. We're gonna start off right here again with that iconic lexus uh tv design the way they kind of push their 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 monitors into the dash that carries out throughout the is3 the gs3 um i'm sure maybe even the ls i have yet to drive the ls um right here we once again have that beautiful alcantara with the blue exposed stitching just putting it together a little more now this interior Although I do will say I am a BMW fanboy, you know, just Beamer, Ultimate Driving Machine, the M3, the M4, we all want them. Um, this car is better than the M4, and I'm going to tell you why. It has better materials, um, just leather all throughout. You have the exposed stitching, a bit of plastic, but nonetheless, uh, I love the way this temperature gauge works. I'm going to turn on the air, and right here you choose your temperature up or down throughout this uh, little fine... Um, aluminum piece of uh, just an aluminum stick almost right here you move on towards your center console you're met by this beautiful lexus clock it is about 10 15. here you have your shifter once again that theme of blue and white carries throughout one funny thing is that even in the rcf you still have your toyota shifter this is even in the toyota priuses and the toyota camrys the corollas yeah i mean lexus they just that's one part that they did not <laughs> opt for they said fuck it we'll just leave it in we'll do it live um you have your nice uh lexus selector right here you can move around pretty easily once you get used to it you have your <coughs> sports settings eco normal sports plus you push it for normal you can turn off the traction control i'm not going to turn it off because this is not my vehicle you have your snow mode as well right here we have two cup holders for practicality as in all the videos i insert my go my on the go water it works right here we have this beautiful alcantara on the on the center console once again just uh further alluding to the beautiful materials right here again just nice feeling alcantara and going back to the center console as far as space you know you have room for an iphone it fits is about as much room as you're gonna get moving over uh, one thing right here on the on the glove box 
you have carbon fiber trim on it, which is pretty neat. Once again, it just completes the whole look of the car. You get your Lexus handbook and wrapped in beautiful leather. There you are. And once again, you move over to the passenger side, which is basically a mirrored, uh, mirrored image of your driver's side. We're gonna take a step in the back just to show. Now we're gonna attempt to climb in the back of the RCF. We're gonna pull on this thing right here and the seat slowly wears itself. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea, but even the back has very nice feature. One thing that I did not talk about at all are these front sport seats. Way better than the M4 seats. Wow, I am squished. I do not wanna be back here at all. I'm gonna be out of here very shortly. We have a speaker. The Alcantara continues another speaker, more like the tweeter towards to the speaker. One thing that I really love is that this F logo has been heated on, it's been pressed on. Always gonna remember that you are in the F Sport. Not even the F Sport, I'm sorry, the RCF. This is the ultimate F car, F Sport car. Um, these seats are beautiful. I love this uh, wavy, um, almost looks like angel wings, uh, this stitching right here. We are seated. You all even have a center, a middle console right here with the dual cup holders. You have a bit of AC right here and some some storage. Uh, yeah, this is the back seat. I would get a little claustrophobic after a while. You can't really see much at all. That's all you see, unless you want to turn over like that, but probably not. Yeah, just gonna touch on the seats one more time. As you push it forward, the seat slowly wears away. I don't know if you can catch on the camera. Do, 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 do. All right, we have stepped out and I'm gonna show you these beautiful, beautiful seats, the way it just wears back. Once again, further alluding to the fact that this car is better than the M4. The M4 is very raw. Again, it is BMW, it is the ultimate drive machine. One thing that the M4 lacks is the plushness that this car has. This car is more of a luxury cruiser, I suppose. Um, yeah, that exhaust though, it's nice. Um, these seats, these seats are much better. I'm sorry if I am rambling. I'm gonna leave that in. One take reviews, kind of. Took a couple of takes. <clears throat> But yeah, just once again, look at these seats. They're very, uh, they're plush. They're very sporty. Yeah, they are plush. They hold you in place. This is, Lexus has done an exceptional job creating the in interior and exterior of this car. Now we're gonna see how it drives. Please stay tuned. We are now inside of the RCF and for city driving, it's all right, but the visibility is horrendous. As you can see, if you look back there, you really cannot see much out of the, uh, rear right or rear left um other than that it can be a bit disconcerting right now i was uh, making a very sketchy turn but i mean nonetheless as soon as if you just shoot the car the car will uh, make the turn yeah, out of the city and onto the highway this car really comes alive just you just punch a little bit this damn car when it's in sports mode is something else it just it goes wherever you need it to and it just moves, it just punches. And, oh my God, hear that. And it's downshifts on its own. And the, the way it just, just thrusts you back into your seat. Oh my God. And those down, oh my God, those downshifts really come alive. Those downshifts really, really do come quite alive. And you can just send it whenever you want. This freaking RCF, oh, this could get you in so much trouble. These 465 horsepower. Whereas the S Class, the S63 that I just drove, is very like, it sends you back, but it's more complete. And it, it's it's hard to explain. This car is just way more like, way more rough. You feel every every rivet and every little crack on the floor, and it's even way more plush than the M4. So this this RCF luxury coupe cruiser i guess you can call it 
lies somewhere in between the realm of the M4 and the S63. Although my the cars I've driven is very uh, minimal. I don't have a substantial experience on to tell you very the very keen differences of each and every car. But like I said, the S63 577 horsepower, it thrusts you back into your seat with this car in a much different way. These shifts are very uh they're very instant. The downshifts are very violent. It just you just hear it. Um this is a whole lot of car this is honestly a whole lot of car a whole lot of luxury for the price that you're paying now on the road on the freeway the rcf really packs a punch it does what it's supposed to do exactly what it was intended to do i mean it is a great sports car my adrenaline is pumping you have seen what the rcf is like inside and out on the road we're gonna and be careful because there's a car in front of me um this was the rcf thank you so much for watching this means so much if you are still watching this video uh thumbs up like subscribe all that share give this 100 views or something maybe more i don't know uh thank you for watching kevin's car spots signing off